Traveler. It so happens that a friend of yours asked me to pass on a message when I saw you. Someone left a message for us? Ah, huh, who could it be? My beloved retainer, have you noticed that silver thread of which fate is woven, now twisting and twining itself around you? The Augdeva Ertelung does... Mm, does... Grossen Kaleido Phantasmus will be watching you. <sighs> well... Hmm. Apologies. This message is unusually difficult to recite. Would you like to hear more? Uh... Definitely sounds like Fischl's note. What should we do? We'll be watching you as you step into the glorious castle of the Immer Nachreich. Come to me at once. Swear an oath to me in my blessed name. And we shall journey together to the depths of the world. Anyway, to summarize, Miss Fischl asked me to ask you to go to the plaza in front of the cathedral. Please meet her there when you have the time. She said that she will be waiting for you. Oh, Fischl. Such a mystifying message for such a plain and simple request. Well, if Fischl's expecting us, then let's not keep her waiting. Let's head towards the Cathedral Plaza. most loyal attendants of the Princessin. Which one is it, retainer or attendant? Make up your mind. My apologies. Main Fräulein tends to use exaggerated expressions when she's in good spirits. Hey, Fischl! You were looking for us, right? Sounds like the fun started without us. What's got you in such a good mood? And so the whisper of eternal night summons you back to my side. <laughs> Splendid. What a blessed reunion. A boon from beyond the eventide. Come, partake of this joy with me, my subjects. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you again. Main Fräulein and I extend to you our most sincere greetings. Take. A normal person in this situation would simply say, Hi, Traveler, how have you been? <laughs> the Traveler and I are like intertwined stars in the vast galaxy. You of all people should very well know the fate foretold by this meeting. Precisely. Lady Magistus, please refrain from such unimaginative utterances. Lady M G a what now? <laughs> Lady Magistus has long since become a citizen of the Imanakreish. She has been serving as court archmage under one's command for some time now. <clears throat> That's just my surname. Don't mind that. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> You're here because Fischl asked Catherine to ask you to come, right? Indeed so, my Archmage. Did even this appear in thy divination? Why, your powers are truly dangerous. Oh, for the love of... No, of course not. You told me yourself that you'd left a message with Catherine. <sighs> Excuse me. Anyway, in my case, she practically beat the door down to get me to come along. Whatever she says, please, don't be too astonished. Ah, uh, don't worry. We 
we've been around the block. You can't phase us. Oh, faithful servants, one's homeland, the Imanok Reich, which bears the darkest of all fates, draws near to this world once more. Stand with me in anticipation, for the glory of our kingdom is nigh. Uh... We what? Indeed. Only one's most faithful envoys are fortunate enough to be privy to this great revelation. <clears throat> the Imanok Reich is near Mondstadt. No, please. That will be most unnecessary. I know it sounds absurd, but there's actually something behind this, I promise. Basically, what Fischl means is... Oh, Lady Magistus! Ugh, all right, all right. Honestly, look at me. A genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. The truth is that yesterday, Her Highness encountered the Spark Knight Klee outside of the city. Both being of great fame, they recognized one another instantly and began to converse. It was already getting dark, so in that spirit of great compassion and care for which she is known, Her Highness personally accompanied Klee back to Mondstadt. On the way, Her Highness relayed to Klee the story of her origins. Upon hearing the tragic tale of the fall of Her Highness's homeworld, the tender-hearted Spark Knight inquired, with tears welling up in her eyes. Oh no! Is the Imanok Reich really gone? Won't it grow back? Oh, mortal! Your Sovereign's heart is touched by thy sincerity and sympathy. But nay, the Imanok Reich is an everlasting realm, and one day, it shall make its reappearance. Really? So how do we make your homeland grow back again? Oh, please tell me. Please, please. Hmm. Since you inquire so earnestly, <clears throat> give unto me a tranquil haven. Promise me eternal admiration. Lend me both time and wind, and one shall revive one's homeworld. Could you cut the reenactments and just get to the point? In short, Klee gave Fischl an island to serve as the promised land where the Immernal Crash will appear. I didn't believe it either at first, but then I saw this letter. Providence has gifted Main Fräulein with an excellent opportunity. Esteemed traveler, as Main Fräulein's cherished retainer, you deserve to bear witness to this grand moment with us. This island looks kind of familiar. Traveler, curtail thy umming and awing at once. The throne of the Imanok Reich calls for me. Come, be my blade. Clear the way and witness what is to come. I... I think she just wants to invite you along to the island with her. <sighs> that being said, I have a feeling that I'll be better off not performing any divination where that island's concerned. Huh? Why not? <laughs> Klee is involved in this, which means her mother is probably involved, which means that old hag is involved. <sighs> thanks, but no thanks. You, who have traveled to the farthest reaches of the world, fathom the celestial path of stardust in the palm of your hand, and witness raindrops converge and become one with the undercurrent of destiny. You, yes you... Must chart the course that leads the way to the land promised to main Fräulein by fate. Oh, Fischl doesn't know the way there! <laughs> um... Since thou asketh it for our help, Paimon can telleth you that we are good friends with the Spark Knight Klee, the Guides of Destiny. Come on, just play along. Behold, the Watcher, 
the guide, the weaver of dreams, the traveler. <laughs> excellent, most excellent. To sum up, <laughs> Traveler, since you say you know the way, we'll let you take us to the island. I mean, the promised land. Oh, good, fine, done. Uh, right now, um, Lady Magistus needs to go home to pack her things and catch up on some sleep. Your Highness, your uh, other... Distinguished selves, let's meet at the city gate at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Very well. Then it is settled. One blesses you with an undisturbed slumber, Lady Magistus. You too, traveler. Main Fräulein means to say, good night. See you all tomorrow. About darn time! Good night! Exhausted! Uh, you all have proper rules! How come Paimon has to be a clock on the wall in the royal palace? Cuckoo! It's 12 o'clock sharp in the Immernachtreich! <laughs> anyway, since those islands are a pretty mind blowing place, why don't we get some people with mind boggling ideas to help us out? Kaya's mind works in mysterious ways. But no one in Mondstadt has ideas that boggle the mind quite like... a certain somebody who's definitely going to be in the tavern at this hour. Come on, let's go rope him into helping us. Mondstadt. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> You're really here. Come on, take a seat and join our delightful conversation. Wow, Traveler Paimon! Speak of the devil, we were literally just talking about you. <laughs> Truly a curious coincidence. Kazuma? Shinya? What are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the Tone Deaf Bard? Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> now that's a fun stage name. It seems like you're a pretty well-known singer, fella. Though sadly not a rock and roll singer, or we could perform a duet. So, you all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friends' friends from afar. <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it, uh, the Free Poet Society or something like that. Yeah, I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Last month, Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship, and she put me in charge of the music. That's where I met Kazaha. 
Although Xinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Oh, you can say that again! In Kazaha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going until we came into Mondstadt. Then along the way, we saw this really awesome manor. It was something else. Oh, yeah! We know the one! My friend owns that place! Really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that fine place must be really loving life, huh? Uh, yes so. <laughs> Similar souls tend to attract each other. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. Wow, you're too nice! Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. Ahem. By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven nations of Tevat are gonna be involved. Well, so far it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. The organizer really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me. But I hear that they're still active. I'd love to give the festival another shot, but wouldn't you know it, the plans fell through again. How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your Temple of Music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella. Are all bards like you? I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the poverty of theirs. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is sure to delight you all. <clears throat> Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. When a Dodoko is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Others are carried away by the waves, all the way to Mondstadt, where they befriend the children there. One Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt, the little Spark Knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. So the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves, finally reaching the middle of the ocean. But Dodo King was not there. Dodo King had lied. There was no trial, by fire or interrogation. The little knight's mother, who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter, along with this message. Summer is the season of love. It is the time for freedom and fun. So everyone, please sing, dance, and enjoy yourselves here. The End. Interesting. I now have the urge to visit that island myself. This is the thing about traveling. You can't plan ahead. Better to leave when the mood takes you and 
go where the heart leads. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Well, there's wine on the table, and I have stories to tell. Seems like fate is feeling kind today. Here's to music. Come on, traveler. Don't worry. If you don't like wine, there's juice as well. In that case, I'll have a glass of juice. Hmm. This one. I like the color. This fella's drunk, but, uh, wasn't he drinking fruit juice? <laughs> more. More, 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 more. <laughs> more, more, please. <laughs> Oops, I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails out there. <laughs> My bad. <sighs> Seriously? Anyway, guess it's time to talk about business after all that drinking. You came here because you need my help, I presume? Oh yeah, that's a good point. We didn't come here to drink. Look where we are. Yup, I can sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. Klee gave a special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? Oh, <laughs> she's such a kind-hearted child. As I'm sure you've already guessed, that letter is most definitely written by Alice. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Hmm, Master Jean? Or Lisa? A mother and daughter, both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. Alice and Klee? Ding, ding, ding! Correct answer! The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. Ah, it's a bomb! Minus the fuse, so don't worry, it's not going to explode. Take it! This way, we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. It's called a dodo communication device, and it allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. However, you can't just use it anytime you want, and there's also a limit on the number of times you can use it. That's why it's currently only available to a certain select few. I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. She and Klee asked me to tell you. <clears throat> Please take this with you when you depart for the island. No, wait. The promised land with your friends. And have fun. Don't worry about how to get there. The organizers of this vacation have made arrangements. Turn right after you exit the city gates, and you'll see something that will make you very happy. Like the two of you are in cahoots over this. <laughs> of course not. Is that really the sort of person you think I am? Traveler, you're my friend. And as your friend, I just want to give you something that'll make you happy. How can you think this of me? Ah, fair enough. The Toad Deaf Guard does like to joke around, but he's still one of our best friends. Besides, a vacation sounds great! <laughs> Actually, Kazuha and Shinyan seemed pretty interested in coming on this trip, too! Let's ask them if they want to join us! Ah, oh, you're back! 
poor Kazuha is still out for the count. Seems like he can't handle alcohol so well. Shinyan, do you want to come to the islands with us? Adventure. Can't. Huh? He doesn't want to go anymore. He seemed really interested just a moment ago. Can't miss the adventure. Oh. <laughs> Kazaha might act mature, but deep down he's just another youngster eager for new experiences. That must be why he didn't think anything of the fruit juice earlier. Well, all the more reason for you to join the island trip. You know, a lot of people have praised the beautiful scenery there. Even Bart's. Okay, sounds like a plan. How do we get there? Someone's got it covered, apparently. There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. Mm -hmm. Traveler? Oh, yeah. They don't official yet, do they? Okay, so here's the deal. There's a princess from a faraway land in her retinue who are also coming on this trip. Huh? Uh, Paimon, don't get me wrong. I'm just asking to make sure. But from the way you're plugging this trip so hard, uh, did the iridescence tour folks put you up to this? After all, canceling the iridescence tour after people already made the trip, that's kind of the same thing as tricking people into going traveling, ain't it? Ugh! Why won't anyone believe Paimon? <laughs> Don't worry about that for now. You'll all have the chance to get acquainted with each other tomorrow morning. Whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician, you're all VIP guests of the island on your summer vacation. And that's what counts, right? <sighs> I'm sure looking forward to it. Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. You serious? The tone deaf bard actually has plans to do some work? I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cat tail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost business and beat the competition. Ah, yes, <laughs> the competition being this place, which has six-fingered Jose. Aren't you allergic to cats? Yup, <laughs> I can always sing on their roof. She told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, what a fine employment opportunity, virtually tailor-made for me. So have fun, <laughs> and don't worry about me. <laughs> I feel like this summer is going to be a very interesting one. It's better. Kazuha? Kazuha! Oh, he just won't wake up. <laughs> Looks like we're staying in the tavern tonight. 